Walker. Well, March is off to a cold start, and we <laughs> can't seem to shake the snow. Yeah, snowflakes are still falling. This is a live picture from Waukesha, and you can see the snow. To let us know how much longer it'll continue, let's go back to John Milan. John. Uh, this snow is going to be around through the evening hours. We could even see a little bit of a dusting to a half inch of accumulation. What a shock from last year. Take a look at this graphic I put together for you. 2012 is in the left column, 2013 in the right. From March 7th through the 12th, we were basically in the 50s and 60s with just one day, March 9th, at 35 degrees. But this year, 35, 36, 39, 43, 39, 34, and you know the snow that went along with that. Our high temperature today got up to 34 degrees in between hours, but check out the 20s and 30s out to the west as our air continues to come in from that direction. We're going to see the cold temperatures continuing on. And one more look at Waukesha. This is what to expect right now for the evening hours. That snow continues. It's a finer snow, and it will start to accumulate a little bit on the roadways, maybe uh, up to a half an inch in a few spots or a dusting. Look at those temperatures, 28. It will be slick when we start to see a little accumulation. 31 right now, Milwaukee, 28, Waukesha, as you saw, 30 in Burlington, 29 in Watertown, 28 in Sheboygan, overnight low temperatures. This is cold, folks, for this time of the year. 20 in Milwaukee, 18 Waukesha, Burlington, 16 degrees overnight in Watertown and also in Fond du Lac. Let's start out with Doppler radar. You can see these snow shower bands. They've been coming in from the uh, west to east, mainly in Waukesha right now. A little break in Milwaukee County. We had some of that uh, snow coming through earlier, also around Walworth County, Jefferson County, and snow shower bands coming in from the northwest, up from Fond du Lac County, back through Dodge County. But again, this will not accumulate much in southeast Wisconsin. Half an inch to a dusting is that. And we got a couple breaks in the cloud cover out to the west, so we might see those breaks coming in, but not until the afternoon tomorrow. So one low pressure system moves out of the picture. High pressure for late tomorrow and into early Thursday. And here comes another low pressure system in that northwest airflow, and that could touch off a rain or snow shower Thursday afternoon. And look at these highs, even with some afternoon sun, 32 Madison, 32 Milwaukee, 29 Green Bay, and also in Wausau. Flurries and light snow, mainly early tonight, 13 in Waukesha, 20 in the city. Tomorrow morning flurries are still possible, decreasing clouds after that. Some sunshine in the afternoon and 32 on strong northwest winds. Tomorrow night, 18 as we clear out and Thursday. Slight chance of an afternoon rain or snow shower, 35 chilly degrees. Storm Team 4 7 day planner Friday 38 with a rain snow mixture possible and then we cool back down into the weekend with only 30 and some sunshine on Saturday 34 on Sunday and not much hope for next week. Hmm. By the way next week hmm. officially it's spring. Finally. Yes. That's finally. What it acts like I'm it. not sure it's officially warmer <laughs> yeah, but I it's see. officially spring. Those 30s don't look like it. No, okay, thank you John.